Hey guys, it's me Ola and this is Blackbird News episode 8. So let's begin with the first topic and it's about the key one's availability. And it's now cleared because a lot of you guys were wondering when will the key one come out because yeah on CES 2017 they said yeah sometime around April or I think I think on the Mobile World Congress they said on April but now we're in the beginning of April and we haven't heard anything of or by BlackBerry Mobile but now it's cleared because Steve Sistoli, I hope I pronounced his name right, he's the president and general manager of TCL Communications in North America, so also BlackBerry Mobile. And he said, yeah, it will be in May, and specifically in May the 5th, and that will be the launch date for the US and Canada. But still, it doesn't sound too clear, to be honest, because he said, yeah, they, will, they want to meet uh, the demand with enough units, so it doesn't end up like on the Google Pixel, where a lot, of, a lot of people wanted to buy the phone, but it was very difficult because they just didn't have enough phones on offer. And it also doesn't sound very clear because he says in May there will be further details, so maybe that date will move forwards or backwards, but I guess it will be later than expected. And the next topic will be about the BlackBerry forums. If you're a BlackBerry user, you probably searched something on Google if you had a problem and you searched for the solution and you probably stumbled across the BlackBerry forums. And they're now closed. If you go to the web page, they redirect you to a CrackBerry forum and they say, yeah, they closed the official forums. Now you have to go to CrackBerry to get your information. And it's very surprising in my opinion, because in my opinion, a company should have a forum and that they send you to a page like CrackBerry, which is actually a fan page, it's kind of, cool and new and something I haven't seen before and yeah we'll see how this ends that means a lot of new traffic hopefully for Crackberry and I have to say the Crackberry forums are amazing so I hope the people that search for the problems will get the right solution and I, to be honest I re really didn't ever like the Blackberry forums too much because I always went to Crackberry because I got the solution there faster than on the Blackberry official forums but yeah it's still new and I, yeah, I think it's worth the news. But why did they do that? Of course, you know, BlackBerry wants to transition to being a software company and they want to go out of that handset business. So they gave that to BlackBerry Mobile. So that's why they closed the forums. Will there be a BlackBerry Mobile forums? I doubt it, to be honest. I think it will stay with BlackBerry. Um, otherwise they would have already opened a new forum, I think. But maybe something else will happen, we don't know. And the third and last topic for this video, BlackBerry News episode 8, would be that there might be a BlackBerry tablet, a new one. Like in the past, we've seen a BlackBerry tablet. It's what it was called the Playbook. It was good and a lot of people loved the Playbook, but the problem was that the support quickly ended and promises weren't really kept and the expectations weren't really met. And that is kind of sad because the idea of the Playbook was kind of nice and it now sounds but uh, BlackBerry CEO Chon Chan said it, that it now sounds like BlackBerry will release a new tablet. He says nothing is clear right now and we still have to wait on what happens, but he said there will might be, might be another tablet. BlackBerry is trying to outsource their hardware department to outside vendors, just like it did it with TCL. And it's a kind of a similar thing, because Chon Chan said, as I said, the CEO of BlackBerry, he said, a partner of the company is very excited to create a tablet together with BlackBerry and he says that will be secured by BlackBerry. So we might see a name on the front saying BlackBerry, we might see that it's secured by BlackBerry and something else to note is that it will be an Android tablet. So it might be just like with the DTEK 50 or 60 where it's basically another device uh, just with the BlackBerry brand name and the security of BlackBerry. So this might happen with a tablet as well. Uh, leave me, let me know in the comment section below what you think about that. Uh, would you use a BlackBerry tablet or do you think something like the Samsung Tab 3 or the iPad are just better and already established in the tablet segment? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm very inter interested in that. That's it with this episode of BlackBerry News, episode 8 by the way. 
If you want to reread the BlackBerry news that I just talked about, the links to the articles are in the description box below. Also make sure to leave a like if you liked the video, leave a dislike if you didn't, I hope you don't do that. Also make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to stay updated with the newest videos that I upload very frequently. And make sure to leave a comment as I said, make sure to follow me on my social media channels, Instagram and Twitter. And my BlackBerry Messenger pin is in the description box below. Whoa, that was fast talking. Talking. <laughs> See you in my next video. Until then, bye.